Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Universal Studios Orlando to celebrate Fat Tuesday and Mardi Gras. Today is the actual day. It is Mardi Gras time and we've been celebrating all the different festivities for the past two weeks, but not on the actual day. So let's go do this. The perfect place to start our Fat Tuesday experience is right here at Fat Tuesday with maybe a 190 octane. Oh, this is so good. I absolutely love the drinks here. If you stop the Fat Tuesdays here on City Walk, what is your go-to drink? I know the 190 Octane is like the strongest drink, but they have a lot of other selections and it's nice to see because some people like really stand by these. They absolutely love this stand. The 190 and that's the one, our top seller with our strongest drink. Grain alcohol with OJ and orange punch. And then you got the Cat 5 Hurricane, eye candy, strawberry, pina colada, and then the margarita for the serious margarita drinkers. Going with a mixture of eye candy and Cat 5. Look at that. Bada bing. Look at this beautiful drink. I was gonna get the Octane, but I really like the combination. One is like a cotton candy and then a little bit of strawberry. This is the way to start and a perfect spot to come enjoy right here on the stoop. Stoop kids sitting on the stoop. Cheers. Oh, this is a beautiful drink on a beautiful day. Look at it out there. Blue skies and I love it. Now I think it's time we're gonna head into Universal Studios. I really enjoyed my Fat Tuesday daiquiri though, but there is a lot of good Mardi Gras experiences waiting for us just inside the park. So we might as well just head on in now. I can actually hear the music as we're walking in. <laughs> I like how I'm walking along with the music. And it also looks like it's a little bit busy over there. It is a Tuesday, so you would think the crowds would be a little bit softer, but it's Fat Tuesday. And because of that, the park is actually open later than it normally would be. Universal's been closing at five o'clock, but today it's open until seven, which is awesome. Luckily, I've got a friend to hang out with today because Mardi Gras is better with friends. I mean, everyone knows that. And who better to have than Miss New Orleans herself, Jackie Super Enthused. Look at you, you actually blend in with the float perfectly. Very fancy. Other than food and drink, another thing that goes hand in hand with Mardi Gras is live music. And they have a lot of cool live music offerings here this year. Look at everyone, they're so happy dancing. Poor Chata. I like the dancing. Of course, we're also gonna be getting some beads. I had uh, at least like two or three brought with me today, but I plan on getting a little bit more because they're tossing them out all over the place. Ooh, can I have some beads? <laughs> I'm ready. Ready? Ready. I'm ready. All right, here we go. Oh, champion. Happy Mardi Gras. Happy Mardi Gras. Oh, this is so much fun. Oh, hello, hello. Forever, huh? That's the way. The queen of Mardi Gras right there. She looks sad, but she loves me, right? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Oh, they're not fitting on my head. Nope, I got a hat on. Look at this gator though. He's definitely got a lot of beads. Man, I miss actually riding these floats and throwing beads out to people. Oh, I wish that happens again soon. I think I'm just gonna keep the bead on my hat. I think it's a good spot for it. And that way it doesn't weigh down my neck a little bit. Let's see, can he do this? Right on the hat. Let's see if he can get it. Oh! I think I'll hop on over to the crepe company because they're doing a special Mardi Gras crepe. And I think that would be fun. I love crepes and I love Mardi Gras, so it's the best of both worlds. Here is the Mardi Gras crepe. It's the creme brulee. Red wine poached pear, vanilla pastry cream, toasted almonds, caramel, and crispy sugar topping. That sounds amazing, doesn't it? And look, they're making up the crepes right in there. Very fancy. Look at that, he's rolling up my crepe as we speak. Fancy. I love it. 
I think it's super cool that they actually make the crepes to order in there. Like they're actually just grilling them up and then stuffing them right in front of you. Isn't that the coolest? Look at that. This looks so amazing. The only thing I'm a little, a little concerned about is the red wine pears, but I'm sure they're gonna be delicious. So we're just gonna dive in. I'm probably gonna make a mess here, but. That's good. Mm, that is so good, wow. So you can see the pears in there. They're kind of soaking in red wine. It's really, really awesome, isn't it? I think eventually you gotta pull the crepe out and start eating it from the bottom, so that's what I'm doing. But it is very hard to eat, especially while you're holding a camera and doing it one-handed. I don't suggest doing either of those. Now that I had my sweet crepe, which was actually phenomenal, I think I'm gonna hop on over to Canada right here and get myself some short rib poutine. I think that sounds amazing, doesn't it? This looks so amazing, look at that. I like how they have the little Canada flag right on there. <gasps> I almost lost my fork. But I love short rib and I love french fries, so this is a perfect combination. The short rib fries were absolutely amazing. I love the actual short rib. That was like probably the best part. The french fries were, I mean, they were french fries, but that was really good. Now I think we're gonna get a ride in, and since we're over here by ET, I think we're gonna go ride ET. I love ET. Earlier today, I actually got my Universal Orlando Annual Pass Holder Magnet, and I thought about, you know, keeping it, but I have a lot of magnets on my car, so I wanted to actually leave it in the park, and I think I'm gonna put it right back here, and either somebody comes and picks it up, or it just stays there. Regardless, it looks good. It looks like it's a part of this. Now it is time for ET. Is that 75 minutes? Oh, no. 75 minute wait. Oh, okay. Well, we're, yeah, we're going this way. Thank you. <laughs> Thank God we got the express pass. 75 minutes. It does look pretty long, though. Look at that. Holy moly. one of my favorite rides it's such a classic but as I was actually leaving I noticed my AP magnets gone already so either um, a team member picked up the magnet and was just like hey that doesn't go there or someone picked it up and says oh I want this but it is gone now look at that it's gone so I bet you it's either found itself a new home or like I said maybe a team member just picked it up and tossed it but oh well might as well keep the celebrating going on. We're gonna head on over to the Simpsons area. You notice they're still playing the Mardi Gras music in Springfield, which I think is awesome. And maybe grab ourselves a Duff beer. Right in good old Moe's. Drink orders only. Oh, I see you. Welcome to Moe's. This is definitely the best place to get a beer. Don't you agree, Fancy Pants? I agree. Oh, I'm not Fancy Pants. <laughs> fancy Pants. I thought I was fancy pants. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Happy Mardi Gras. Happy Mardi Gras in Springfield. I love Duff beer. It's really actually very delicious and it's brewed exclusively for Universal Orlando and they actually have an Oktoberfest that's uh, served like during the Halloween season. That's phenomenal. But either way, I do just like to get a Duff Light. 
Very good. Keeping it classy. Keeping it classy at Moe's. Now we need to continue along on our Fat Tuesday celebration. I like how when we come out of Moe's, it just immediately turns Mardi Gras. It is such a beautiful night. Look at this view. Holy moly. This is what I love about Universal Studios. One of the stands that I really wanted to try last time we were here for Mardi Gras was the Cuba stand because they had a Cuban coffee and I love coffee and I think it's pretty strong. So I think I'm gonna get one of those to actually get to go with maybe a beer. A beer and a coffee, sounds perfect. Right here, the Cuban coffee. $3.49, but we do have this little fancy lanyard, so we'll use that to actually get it. I decided on getting the Cuban coffee, like I said, but I bought this with my own money because it was $3, and instead of uh, using my punch, I bought my uh, Bacardi with my punch because that's $8. So it makes sense to get it. So we got the Bacardi 8, and it's eight years old, and... Uh, salute. Salute. Fancy. Nate, say, Ooh. say, delicioso. Delicioso. Good, very good. <laughs> <Wait, wait, wait. laughs> oh, I did good. So the Cuban coffee, I've had espresso before in the past, but this is like way different because what's inside of it? It's cafecito. Vasito? Cafecito. Cafecito. Yeah. I don't know, but... It's a strong Cuban Yeah, coffee. it's very strong. Oh, when you take yeah. a sip, I felt it actually like kind of rush through my face. Yeah. And I liked it a lot. Yeah. Very, very good. Uh -huh. Look how amazingly bright the floats are actually at night though. That's so magical, isn't it? And it's right outside Fast and the Furious. So it kind of fits in perfectly with the light scheming. Like this is literally a perfect location for this float. We have to move along because hopefully the jambalaya stand is still open. We have like about, I think, 23 minutes before the park closes. But I definitely need to get jambalaya in me. It's my favorite thing to eat during Mardi Gras. It's still a very festive atmosphere though in here. You see a lot of people really dressed up for Mardi Gras this year. And that's awesome. I like seeing people being in their festive spirits. Unfortunately, it looks like all of the boots actually closed at 6.30. So I'm not going to be able to get that jambalaya. But I'll be back. I've already had it once. And uh, I'll probably have jambalaya tomorrow. Honestly, I'm being upfront. I love jambalaya. So we're just going to move about our day. One thing I really missed about Mardi Gras this year was not being able to throw beads out to people. So luckily, I got a couple beads that I can spare. And I got a friend who's willing to catch them. Bead tossing. <laughs> One more, here we go. All right. Woo! <laughs> you want some beads? You want some beads? Beat me. I don't know if my throw is as good as yours. Oh! Oh, no, I got another one coming at you. I got another one. <laughs> All right. I think he wants the beads, everybody. I think he wants them. Oh, look at him. He's got like shackles on. Woo! Now I think we're gonna head out to City Walk because we want to see what festivities are doing out there. The park is officially closed and they already have a Fat Tuesday so they have to be celebrating a little bit. I mean it's a perfect day for this because it's their day. <laughs> A lot of people are actually out on City Walk celebrating. As you can see, this one stand right here is actually using the Mardi Gras menu of all the different drinks from the stands inside the park. And you can use your lanyard on it. So they have like from Belgium and the Bahamas and even the King Cake Milk Punch. Maybe I might get that. But it's so fun to see everyone actually out enjoying Fat Tuesdays on City Walk. And it looks like it's, it's, it's a fun atmosphere. I think I'm gonna get the king cake milk punch. I had that last time, it was delicious. And I think Jackie's going with the Goombe yeah, smash. Goomba. Goomba. Reminds me of like Super Mario Brothers. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, Goomba. <laughs> now that we actually got our drinks, we're able to sit down, take our mask off. And it's really cool, cause it's not really cold now, but they have the actual patio heaters on. And that is so amazing, cause I just like the ambience. I like, I like feeling warm when I don't need to be warm. <laughs> Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Oh, and they're playing the live music over there too. I can hear it. And this is the uh, King Cake Punch, and that's Jackie's Goomba. 
Goomba Punch. This looks like it's a creamy drink, but it's not. It is very delicious and very bourbon-y. Like, you can taste a lot of bourbon in this, always. It looks like a creamy drink, but it's not. It's not. Oh, you, you're good, you. <laughs> Cheers. I can't think of a better way to actually celebrate Fat Tuesday. In fact, I don't think I've ever really celebrated Fat Tuesday the way that I showed up. And honestly, when you think about the idea about it, what we want to give up and basically what we're doing is basically just going all at it. Now, I have to tell you, I really didn't decide to give up anything, but I still want to partake in the festivities of going all in. I'm happy that we actually stopped the Fat Tuesdays on the way in because look at the line now. That is pretty intense, but of course it's Fat Tuesday, yeah. so people want to get that actual drink. Thank you! Now we're going to go up to the actual City Walk Promenade, see if Fat Tuesdays is open up there, and also the actual Pat O'Brien's bar there, because that was all decked out for New Orleans. It's so awesome to see that this is actually open. Normally it's not open on Tuesdays, go figure that. But today, it is Fat Tuesday, so we are open, and look at they even have some cool lights on the ground here, and they have a bigger selection than the actual quick service stand that uh, we uh, went to when we first walked in. So I'm excited to see what they have, and I'm definitely getting something different. You can see this Fat Tuesday has a lot more drinks to offer. They've got the electric lemonade, the Mardi Gras mash, the amaretto pineapple, the peach bellini, so many different actual amazing drinks and they got a lot more going very fancy there are a lot of people waiting to actually get a drink fat tuesday is a popular thing on fat tuesday who would have known so i think we're going to explore other options we've already had our daiquiri for the day and uh yeah we're just gonna enjoy the rest of city walk for a little bit Maybe we'll actually jump into NBC Grill and get something to eat. I always like the food in here and I also like the beer. And it's just a fun atmosphere and we might as well just go out. It's still Mardi Gras happening. I always love coming to NBC Grill because they always have good beer and also the burgers are pretty decent. So today I decided to get the Smokehouse Burger and that comes with the pork and the brisket, the burger. And I got half and half fries and tots. I'm so excited. Definitely needed a good meal today. All we had is little snacks. I had the fries and uh, the crepe, but I really wanted a full meal. Look at this food. Oh my God. Look at, that's a club sandwich. Oh, and then the smokehouse is here. Look at this fanciness. This is gonna be a good burger. I'm very excited for it. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> This is absolutely amazing. I love it. I love the mixture between the brisket on there and the burger patty. This is actually one of the best burgers I've had at Universal Studios. Wow, I am shocked. I absolutely love it though. That burger at NBC was absolutely amazing, but there's one more thing we need to do before we leave, and it's tradition. Look at all the beads on this tree. When we actually first came for the first night of Mardi Gras, it was just the bare minimum beads on this tree. And now it is full to the brim. So we got to actually join in tradition. Yeah! We nailed it! We nailed it. We nailed it. Boom!